he, he has a this book is a wealth of information and just a few minutes that you talked brother you 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 opened up my eyes to two different things um but talk about the importance of hydrating i i tell my wife all the time you know i text her i said make sure you drink water make sure you drink water make sure you drink water you know she works oh, yeah. a lot of, she works a lot of overtime you know we we're, we're caught in this 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 type of world and lifestyle where we work long hours man 16 18 hours a day mm -hmm. um you know there's people in law enforcement that that work 24 hours if they're solving trying to solve a homicide or, or something and it's high stress yeah exactly exactly and and we and we have to really be mindful of hydrating through that whole time um so so talk about the importance of hydration talk yes sir so hydration is the second step in our program what i call the self-care seven mm -hmm. okay and so excuse me hydration is the third step in what I call uh, the self-care seven, which is our program. So mm -hmm. the hydration is so important for your body because it literally affects every cell in your body, okay? It affects every cell, it affects every organ, it affects every organ system. Now, when we talk about hydration, you know what comes to mind? Thirst, right? People think, well, just make sure you drink plenty of fluids. Well, before you decide, what type of fluid to drink, take a look at the standard settings of the body, right? First, you've got to understand the body is 65% water. That's right. Now, the life of the body is in the blood, okay? The blood is about 95% water. So that gives us a clue for how to maintain our system, right? That's a clue, right? Like the, you didn't make that right <laughs> i didn't make that that's how that's how the the the, the right. creation was that's how that's the standard setting right factory right. setting is right. that right. The majority of the body is water the majority of the blood is water the overwhelming majority of the blood is water so that tells us a clue as far as what is required to maintain the system okay because you start putting the wrong fuel or the wrong fuel type in the wrong car you're going to have problem. The car might run, exactly. but you know, the engine might blow up a little quicker, exactly. right? It might start smoking a little bit, right? And so you might start have sputtering and you know hearing noises and everything. That's because you're putting the wrong type of fuel in the car that you have. And so the clue as to what type of fluid we should be getting is what the standard factory setting is, and that's water. Okay, now. Unfortunately, well, it may be fortunate, I, I don't know, but today, when someone goes to satisfy their thirst, they've got options, okay? Right. You've got right. teas, you've got coffees, yeah. you've got juices, you've got sweetened juices, you, you've got everything, right? right? Fruit juices, you know, all this stuff, okay? And so those options are good because a lot of them contain sugar. Right. And who doesn't right. like a little bit of flavor? But right. we've got to come to the understanding that, wait a minute now, uh, the body doesn't really need any of those things. If I spend the rest of my life and I never drink coffee, guess what, Damon? I could live to 100. If I spend the rest of my life and I never drink juice, I could live to 100. If mm -hmm. I spend the rest of my life and I never drink milk, I could live to 100. But I I barely make it past 40 if I go without water, okay? okay? Because things start breaking down, mm. okay? Blood pressure is related to water or a lack thereof. Diabetes, blood sugar is related to enough water or the lack thereof. Constipation, you name it. There's a whole host of chronic conditions that are exaggerated, even accelerated, due to the lack mm. of adequate water in the system, mm. right? And you got to look at it like this. Imagine you're standing on a cliff, okay? You're, you're near the edge. And let's say somebody said, look, seven steps, and then you fall. You got seven steps before you fall off the cliff. Right, right. Okay? You got to understand that the way in which you live will actually push you closer to that cliff, to that cliff's edge. That's you see right. what I'm saying? 
and not drinking enough water is taking a step towards that ledge, mm. right? Now, you can say, well, I'm thirsty, therefore, I'm going to drink juice, and that'll quench my thirst. Yes, there is some water in juice, but there's also, you know, sugar and a whole bunch right. of other things, right? Now, right. That, that's fine. You need energy and everything, and you need some antioxidants. And if it's like a fruit, natural fruit juice, that's well and good, but the body can get all that from food. <laughs> you see what I mean? Right? It right. can get all that from the calories, from breaking down the fruits or the foods or, and whatnot. But when you're thirsty, what the body's trying to tell you is, brother, we need water. Why? Mm -hmm. Because water is one of those key things. It lubricates your organs. It mm -hmm. controls your temperature. It helps convert food to energy. Even digestion relies and depends on water. Okay, it uh, helps with your skin. And you've got to remember something. The body is constantly losing water. Okay, so on a hot day such as today, you go outside right. for a couple of minutes and you're sweating. Well, that's that's water. In right. fact, actually using the water and using your skin, right, to produce sweat. And that's a way in which the body can get rid of toxin. That's one of the ways in which it can detoxify you. Okay. Another way is by working with your kidneys. See, the kidneys filter the blood and it removes a whole lot of nonsense that, that that's floating around in our bloodstream. A lot of nonsense that we're eating and drinking. It gets filtered. And so in order to get rid of it from the body, the body has to flush it with water. It's called urine. OK, and you right. can usually tell how much waste is being removed based on how yellow or That's orange right. your urine is. Right? right. And so yeah. that is the power of water. Not only does it maintain, support and sustain our organs, our entire body, but it actually cleanses us. It keeps us alive and it keeps us healthy or at least That's it right. tries to, assuming you have enough of it. And when you don't have enough water, you're drinking juices and everything like that, what happens to your arteries? They get narrower, okay? Mm -hmm. They get narrower, right? So the heart needs a little bit more pressure to push it, right? And so, you you know, we, we, we call those things, well, hypertension or, you know, the, the developing stages or beginning stages of high blood pressure, right? Mm -hmm. And so all of these diseases that we're so concerned about are developing as a result of these lifestyle that this western lifestyle that we've adopted right. now, i'm not saying right. don't ever drink juice don't ever drink coffee that, that's not what i'm saying i'm saying you've got to understand as you're drinking your juice your milk your tea your coffee whatever it may be your body only needs water that's right okay Anything else? Yeah, it tastes good. It looks good. It smells good. That's fine. But don't forget to put the right type of fuel or fluid inside of you. And that is water. Yeah. Water, water is a superfood. And, and oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. It, you can't live yeah. without it. Exactly. And what's so uh, amazing, um, it was Dr. Africa. It was, it, it was Dr. Leia Africa that said, sometimes we get signals that we're hungry. We think that we're hungry, but actually our body is craving water. So we will, yes. we will grab food and eat, but our body is actually want, wanting to be hydrated. And, and we, oh, yeah. because the body's hungry, but it's not hungry for food, it's, it's hungry for water. Yes, you're exactly right. And I mean, look, the body will get you will send you signals in the form of cravings, right? When it needs something. If you've ever seen, for example, a pregnant woman and she is craving, you know, they crave chalk or, you know, rust, you know, they eat a lot of weird stuff like clay and everything like that. Uh, mm -hmm. That that disease is called pica. And uh, the way I've heard it explained is as the fetal child is developing, right much like an assembly line right you know the car if you think of how cars were being built you know the car gets here the doors get put on you know the car goes there the engine gets put on the car goes here the tires get put on well you know as the child that's growing inside of a woman uh that fetal child is growing and developing sometimes the body needs certain minerals that 
the mother just doesn't have enough of. And so what will happen is the body will send you craving, signals for craving. So you see somebody eating eating rust. Maybe they need more iron. You know, right. you, see some, you see somebody eating chalk. Maybe they need more calcium. And so the body is saying calcium. And it's going through everything that it, it's maybe tasted and noticed that there was some calcium in it. It's sending you those cravings. Like It's right. not saying right. eat rust. It's saying give us iron. But, you know, right. you interpret right. it as... I have a craving for rust. And so the point being is just like the body does that for, for minerals, right? And, and vitamins and everything, uh, particularly minerals. The body also does that for water. And it's called thirst, right? It's your right. lips drying, right? That's a sign that, hey, brother, you know, you, you've got to get some fluid in here. You've got to get something to drink in there. There's also dry skin. You know, you're feeling lightheaded. You're not peeing as much. Or right. you can tell when you do pee, your urine is actually darker color. So it's more of an right. orange color, right? right? And believe it or not, your mood, your mental focus mm. is directly impacted by the amount of water or fluids that you have in you. Right. So you might be feeling tired and you don't know why you ate well and you you just don't understand what's going on. You haven't drank enough water. Enough water. Exactly. Right. And, and of course, you know, when it gets bad, you know, that like especially if you're somebody who constantly runs and constantly exercises and everything like that, you've got to remember you're sweating. You're sweating. You're not just sweating water. You're also sweating minerals. That's why things like Gatorade. And, and uh, you know, those plant-based minerals are so important because they give back right. electrolyte. Well, but right. you're also spending a lot of water, right? right? So you've got to put water in there. And so we just have to be able to understand that the body is such an intelligent machine and it tells us what it needs. We ignore it, right? And we put Band-Aids on things that, you know, whenever something doesn't work the way we want, instead of listening to the body, we are trained to seek a, you know, a pill or a Band-Aid and put over it instead of taking a moment and understanding what the body is telling us that it needs.